ladies gentlemen uh today we are here with the one and only um renowned makeup artist from malaysia please put your hands together for side day wa hi everyone thank you <laughs> can you not can you hear the applause ta hmm can you hear the uh, applause i bought me applause oh wow. Wow. <laughs> thank you ada sound effect okay so oh, superstar kena ada sound effect okay all right so Uh, Said, uh, we are so happy that you're here today uh, to teach us. So I've got my eyeliner ready already. I got a few here. We'll talk about that shortly. Uh, okay. But before we go through the tutorial, kan, maybe you introduce yourself, what you do, what's your experience, like share dengan semua. Oh hi, hi everything. <laughs> okay everyone. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my name is Dewa. So I'm a makeup artist. I've been doing for almost I think the. 10 years dah. This year is my uh, 10 year untuk makeup. Oh, And, so, you started when you're 12 years old, is it? I'm not that young, Jen. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, continue. Uh, lepas tu, yeah, buat makeup. And then my, 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 my forte is uh, bridal makeup lah, beauty makeup. I'm not into those editorial kind of thing. I'm more to beauty, bridal, stuff like that lah. And now, I also have my own brand, Sekdewa Cosmetics, focusing on lip make. Lip make? Oh, ada tak sekarang? Show, tunjuk sikit. Ooh, of course ada. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, wearing, I'm wearing my lip gloss kat sini. And lip gloss. Uh, my, wait, I don't know. Nampak tak? Ke macam over it? Kena swatch sikit. Kena swatch sikit. Kena you know, like swatch. Kena swatch. <laughs> kena swatch. I pakai lah. Buat apa? I nak swatch. Jadi <laughs> tak nampak. Yes. Okay, what color is this? This is Manila. I name it after Siti. So basically, Manila ni macam uh, Malay punya skin tone lah kan. If your skin tone like my uh, people from Philippines. So, you pakailah Manila. If you're from, I got Istanbul so, for those yang fair skin, for those yang macam very fair like uh, Paris pun ada but they want very new, very fashion. Yeah, Dubai pun ada. Dubai for those yang macam suka very intense makeup, black eyes. So, go very very new ada Dubai color. Okay lah. Enough so, yang this color Manila is more for like, you want something natural and nude. Correct. For Malay skin tone lah, yang macam medium skin tone, they can wear this uh, kind of colour. Ah. How long have you had your brand? Ah, uh, this is my second year. Second year, mm. wow. And it's doing well, like sekarang kan, you know, it's the whole MCO. Mm -hmm. How how has it affected your brand? Ah, uh, Affected sikit. Uh, mostly because of the supplier lah. Sebab my kilang cannot produce since they're all gonna tutup juga. Then I cannot, I tak boleh dapat my stock. So at the moment I just clearkan apa yang ada dekat dalam store je lah. Hmm. Mm. Well, we're going to support you for sure. But today, apart from lips, today we are what we want to talk about eyeliner. Okay, so right. um, mm. maybe we will just quickly dive into it. We have some questions. I want to show you guys. Do you guys see or not? I dah prepare question tau. Okay, I stress. So about your knee professional guys so i don't want to see this simply as so okay straight away i nak tanya um hmm. how do you pick the right eyeliner sebab sekarang ada like from Kat Von D i got from Sephora and i got this do not random brand how do you pick the right eyeliner like brand ke or what um brand tu tak kisahlah for me the most important thing adalah dia punya tip if you if you're going yang macam liquid type tu yang ada uh -huh. macam tip hujung tu macam ada sponge or ya yeah. Yang penting tip dia tu I prefer yang uh, brush bukannya sponge Oh so yang ni brush ke sponge? This brush ah? That one's it looks like sponge Oh so brush okay let me see So interesting got different different types yang ni brush or sponge? I think that one macam brush. Yang ni dia macam brush. Yang ni okay. ada bristol tak? Can you see the bristol kat hujung dia dekat tip dia tu? Ada. Yang ni ada bristol. Okay. That one the brush type lah. Okay. Okay. So hmm. you say uh, it's important kena good, uh, you prefer brush prefer instead lah. of punch. Betul. Betul. Hmm. And then? And paling, paling, 
yang, yang tu tak apa dia pun preferensi lah anyone boleh suka apa-apa yang dia orang suka tapi the most important thing dia mesti lah pekat i mean bila you letak kat your 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 bila you letak kat tangan you akan nampak uh, eyeliner tu tak masuk ke dalam you punya kulit tu you can see bila eyeliner tu cair dia akan meresap kat dalam you punya line kulit you oh try. like bleeding macam bleeding yeah. sikit ah macam bleeding okay. sikit So yang ni is the Kat Von D one, alright? And then I think what you meant by the bleeding one is this one because I can see after a while it starts to like 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 that. You Mark, see my macam, skin? Macam macam ah, macam this ah, ah. kan? Yeah, itu I tak suka sebab nanti dia akan cepat comot. Oh, okay, good guys. That's a great tip. So when you look for eyeliner, we're gonna look for one that your your type. Whether you prefer a sponge or if you prefer a brush, but most importantly is to make sure that the eyeliner doesn't bleed and create like it will smudge. So that's really good tip. So that is one. Uh, I think a really good um understanding of how to pick eyeliner. Now my next question is, your you asked me to bring either brown or black color. So. Mm. What's the difference? What is the difference in terms of effect? Uh, black more intense lah, obviously. If you're looking for something yang very natural, you nak pakai for daily, you tak nampak macam sangat outstanding, you go for brown. <laughs> Some more for people yang macam very fair skin, black kadang-kadang akan nampak a bit intense on their skin. Macam kalau you punya kulit cerah, you go for brown pun dah cukup. But for those yang tan skin, kalau pakai brown memang tak nampak apa-apalah. So they have to wear black, uh, uh, like that. But you prefer like on my skin tone, cause I'm tan. I'm I bukan macam normal fair fair skin. Do you think black? If I just wore a black eyeliner, okay tak? Okay. You Perfect. macam universal, boleh. Do do boleh. Brown boleh. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so uh, now we know. I think uh, depending on your skin tone, uh, whichever kind of. Uh, effect you want. Kalau you nak natural skin, then you can go for brown. But if you want something intense, honey, go for the black. Okay, cool. So now we know that. Uh, the next question that I have mm -hmm. about eye shape. Kan, eye if shape. you draw eyeliner, it's not mm -hmm. the same technique for all eye shape, kan? Betul, betul. So, uh, okay, I dah, I dah prepare, kan? I'm going to show you. I hope you can see this. Okay, I I put it online. Wow. <laughs> Ni tepukan ni. Let me look for my tepukan. Yeah. <laughs> Yang ni TV je. Okay. So um, kan there are different different types of uh, mata. Betul. How do you def how do you know how should you draw the eyeliner? Okay. Yang paling penting sekali you have to see you punya eyelid. Eyelid. Okay. Okay. So you don't want your eyeliner masuk dalam eyelid you. Mas masuk dalam eyelid you. Faham tak? How to say eh? Um, so macam kalau the eyeliner kena down here the tip, bukan up here. Betul. Maksudnya Sambil for some people it. yang dia punya, dia tak ada eyelid tau dia macam ni je. So dia boleh pakai macam-macam mana pun dia boleh pakai. But for those yang macam monolid, mata sepik yang tak ada kelopak macam ni, how macam ni nak pakai eyeliner takkan nak pakai kat atas ni. So cannot. So yang macam tu dia kena pakai kat hujung je. Things like that. Oh, Okay, so meaning like this one. Okay, hold on. Let me just zoom in. Like this one. This one memang it will like hooded monolid ke macam tu. Then mm -hmm. you need to like just do it at the side, is it? Betul. Correct. Okay. So my eye is which one? Your eye... One. You ada kelopak. Mungkin yang five ni ke? One, two, three. This one? Hooded? Not hooded. Yang before that. This one? Yeah. Downturn. Oh, okay, so this this is my eye. Downturn. Macam ni? Mm -mm. So, kalau downturn, um, what is the tips for like drawing eyeliner? Um, okay. So, for you, for you actually, as okay, dia macam ni. As long as you punya eyeliner you, bila you draw, dia tak connect dengan you punya kelopak, should be fine. Maksudnya, you boleh pakai eyeliner but very, very thin. Jangan tebal sampai mengganggu you punya eyelid kat sini. So what about the side here? Like kan uh, we there are some people dia 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 suka yang wow ada like wing look. Do you think my eye boleh fit that tak? 
Boleh? Your eyes boleh? Mm. Macam you, okay macam ni. Kita pakai pencil lah sebab I think pencil is easier untuk ni. Untuk kita lukis. So first thing first, you kena tahu kat mana you punya kelopak mata berakhir. This one. This line over here. The, apa yang dia panggil? Kelopak mata lah kan? Kelopak eh. Is it kelopak? Kelopak mata kan? I don't know what that but I know what you mean. Okay. The eyelid, the, the crease. Yeah, the crease. So you kena make sure your line, your wing liner kena below the crease. You don't want it to get into the crease. If not, nanti dia akan jadi macam curvy sikit. Dia tak cantik. Okay, so I tunjuk sikit. This one, this is my apa ni? Uh, line tu. So right below the line. So bila I buka mata, bila I buka mata pun dia tak mengganggu. If okay. I buat dia okay. dalam line, what happen? Tak nampak lah, tak nampak. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. So, kalau nak draw eyeliner, as long as dia tak connect dengan this, 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 this thing here. This thing here. Okay. I, yeah. I circle lah. Okay, uh, don't yeah. connect them. <laughs> Okay, so as long as kita draw eyeliner kena kat bawah sini Betul Don't touch this thing here, we are safe Betul Jangan Perfect. sentuh bomb tu Alright, great Um, So before we go through the steps kan, I nak uh. tanya um, Okay, so for me, I memang suka let, uh, letak apa tu, mascara Okay, okay. So kalau I like to put mascara, should I put eyeliner first then mascara or mascara then eyeliner? Hmm boleh. Both okay, dia tak mengganggu. Dia tak redundant. Benda tu okay je. If not like eyeshadow and eyeliner. So kalau eyeshadow and eyeliner tu you have to put eyeshadow dulu lah. Then only eyeliner atas dia. If mascara and eyeliner dia dua benda yang berbeza so don't worry. Then what about um like tight lining? Kan uh, some But, people they draw inside the eye there. Oh, but if better kalau you buat eyeliner dulu lah sebab if not nanti dia akan mengganggu lah you nak tolak mata you ke apa ke dia akan hmm. menyebabkan you punya makeup later lah but application so your wise, tip is but sorry? I, I, application wise dia tak ada masalah lah but it's on technical hmm. side lah you have to be careful tapi kalau nak senang eyeliner dulu then only mascara okay got it so um what we learn today is We all have different different eye shapes. So as long as the crease yang 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 line ni you're drawing it you don't kena that you are safe. And right. you know if you're going for something brown, it's something more natural and it depends on your skin tone. Uh you can go for a black eyeliner for that really beautiful um wing eye look. So right now I think it's time for us to go through the steps. I really am very excited about this. Um <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool so, but I never done this before tau. I never ever do this before so I'm very excited I've got um, my favorite eyeliner is from what is this Kat Von D Kat Von D okay the tattoo liner this is my favorite which is your recommended your favorite I know you got a lot kalau like pick a few lah yang mana you suka I paling suka this one from Tom Ford ooh <laughs> okay sebab dia ada dual end dia dual end satu brush ni yang sangat fine, yang senang untuk you reach those tempat-tempat um, yang terpencil And this, yang this, the other one ni macam panjang sikit lah Untuk dekat ujung oh. ni And kalau yang kecil ni boleh dekat depan mata, so macam tu lah Oh double N, okay double. got it Double N, double the price Yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, right now I don't have any makeup okay. for my eyes. I want to ask you what's the first step normally. Do you draw kat sini first or kat middle first? Any any tips? Okay, uh, first thing first, kita kena tahulah bentuk mata kita macam mana. So when you dah tahu bentuk mata you, then only you can decide macam mana you nak lukis the liner lah. Okay, but kalau you nak lukis the liner, kalau mata you cantik terbuka macam ni, you start from the center lah and go upwards. Hmm. Sebab 
you boleh balance kan tapi kalau you dah tahu mata you jenis monolith ataupun hooded eyes yang you boleh lukis kat hujung je you have to start from hujung lah macam tu oh okay okay so i start from okay. hujung we start from hujung so okay. uh, macam macam i cakap tadi jangan kena line tu Okay, got I'm, it. I'm using pencil sebab pencil easier lah untuk I tunjuk. And one more thing guys, oh. I don't do makeup on my face. So kalau I buat salah tu, I'm so sorry sebab I'm not used <laughs> to my face. Tak <laughs> you can just like guide me. You can just guide me how to do it. Kalau you nak, tak nak buat pun boleh. We're just sharing information here guys. Boleh no boleh. haters. You are haters, get out of here honey. <laughs> okay. Okay, jom. Alright, start from... Start from hujung mata and bring it upwards. Bring it upwards. Okay. okay. Is it too low? It's a bit too low. It's a bit too low. Okay, I'll do it again. Yeah. Okay, we'll go higher. All right. Those of you just join us, we're getting a tutorial from... Said Dewa, a renowned makeup artist from Malaysia. We are in for a treat, my friends. Okay. Eh, macam sama je. Again, again, again. Makeup but, kena like practice kan? Makeup kena practice. But Jen, how, mm -hmm. how you usually do it? Macam mana you selalu buat? You draw oh, your liner every day juga I kan? I draw start. I show you, I show you how I normally draw, okay? Uh. So I'll start here like this. Wait, I shake first. Shake it, shake, shake it. Okay. I draw kat sini. Mm -hmm. And then, I'll just draw up here like this. Then I connect. So my own style is like that lah. Like, I don't see ka, uh, other line ke tak ada line. I just draw. And then, when it's not perfect, I embed ni. And then, I wait for it to dry sikit. And then, I'll just perfect it. So when I draw eyeliner, uh, the, my t my, the way I do it is just to make sure the end is sharp and this is my first step. But you see, the problem is yang the line tu, it kena my um, my crease. Not okay. not the way you thought. Me. Okay lah. I continue lah. Okay, continue. okay, you continue. Then you tell me what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. So normally kan, I don't really put mascara. So mm -hmm. I will just make my eyeliner quite thick. But it might not be suitable for me. You can tell me whether it's nice or not. But this is how I normally do it. Just draw. And then the front, I'll just perfect it like that. And that's it. This is how I draw my eyeliner. What do you think? Pro je. Huh? Pro? My <laughs> But the thing is, guys, I notice um, between... Okay. Yeah. The line here and the line up here, my eyeliner and the line up there is very close. So when I look up, it looks like Dia I don't have to kan? Betul. Yeah. Sebab tu, I suggest untuk mata-mata macam huda ataupun mereka yang tak yang kelopak tak besar, instead of draw the whole line, you just draw sampai quarter of your eyes je, sampai kat sini je ke? Oh. Uh, and the rest, you just letak dekat bawah ni. But then, still guna liquid ke? Atau yang kalau we want to draw tight lining, do you use like a different pencil, pencil or the same pencil. one? Pencil. Pencil. Okay. I've got a pencil here. I'll try that later. So, I'll try with this eye. Okay, so, you try. You jangan draw buat, to the... Uh, draw to the ticket je. Jangan sampai habis. Ticket. Just... Uh... Oh my god. How girls make up? Susah lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay tak macam ni Okay So I draw up here Okay I think that looks better on you And then you ada uh, pencil like uh, Sorry pencil Pencil tak? Pencil? Ada 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 Okay But pencil. dia macam Bukan pencil Pencil dia macam crayon sikit Ah boleh Okay kan? You tak dekat Layer? Layer? Uh -huh. Line, okay. So, um, normally kalau nak buat tight lining, do you do like this or do you like just draw it? Kena guna tangan ke? Guna tangan. Tarik sikit lah. Okay. 
Okay. So, about tagline, what it does actually, dia akan membuatkan ada uh, illusion of a very thin line dekat you punya uh, eye line. Faham tak? And one more thing, dia akan bagi nampak you punya lashes more fuller. Yeah! Okay, okay guys, I'm sh a little bit shook right now. So, I want to show you the difference between my normal doing and what Syed just taught me. So, this is my left side. Okay, I'm looking at you right now. You can see this eye looks bigger. Correct. Syed, I'm, I'm shook. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I love it because, I love it. Why? Because it looks incredibly natural and it's like just a little bit at the side. So it makes my eyes, I don't know, think it's, holy shit, wait. It looks longer lah, macam lagi panjang and dia tak, you know, you punya mata punya, uh, good, good, good. <laughs> I'm happy you learned something, man. I love it. Wait, let me look at the comments, yeah. Got a lot of people say, Jen, that's so much nicer, suits you. That is so nice, nice on you. It's better. Oh my gosh, guys, this is why he's like they were, okay? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this technique, is it just for people like my eyes? But like for your eyes, would you do the same technique? For my eyes, I pakai benda yang sama juga lah. Maksudnya kalau you punya kelopak mata ni tak besar, means you ada this hood, uh, hooded part ni okay. dekat sini. Ya. Yeah. Mm -mm. So you jangan draw all over lah. Line tu just dekat hujung je. Mm. Mm. That's very very cool. So okay. uh, those of you just join us, what we learned today is if you have eyes like me, a bit hooded, okay, not very nice, never mind. It's okay. You can use this to fix it, okay? So, uh, you can draw a little bit kat tepi ni with your normal um, um, eyeliner that is, for me, I like to use brush. So, I use a slide here. And then, in front here, you use a pencil, macam ni, and then you just draw it. So, you tight line the front. So, it really gives the illusion that my eyes are like, it's so much prettier. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank okay, you. another question is, kalau I nak buat macam ni, like a, a thick one at the side mm -hmm. here. Thick one. So okay. how do I, can I Can I create it? Can you just uh, elongate yang, yang sebelah kat your left eye, eh? right eye? Uh -huh. yang... Okay, you just tambah je lagi, but make sure jangan le... jangan masuk dekat line yang dekat kelopak mata tu. Okay. Okay, I try, ya. Yeah? You try. I don't know why when I draw eyeliner, my mouth must open one. Like that. Semua orang macam tu. Mata rapat pun sama juga. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, now. You mm -hmm. gonna you kena connect dengan you punya lower lash instead of bring it up you bring it down okay bring it down kat kat mana kat oh sini. shit i made i made mistake hold on so mana so you kena connect dekat bawah ni your lower lash lower lash okay lower lash connect dengan yang atas tu Okay, okay, got it. Let me try. So, I need to connect it, bring it down. Instead of bring it up, I need to bring it down. Yeah. Connect it. Something like that. Okay. Cuba zoom sikit. Okay. Zoom sikit, yeah. I zoom in for you. Hold on. Okay, my front camera can zoom. Okay. How can I fix this? Nothing to fix. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, think already, I think it's fine. I think really? it's fine. It's just that I think lower lash too, instead of you pakai black, okay, now it's fine already. Now it's fine. Just untuk okay. bagi ada connectivity ataupun orang panggil continuity with your black liner, mm. I suggest you 
to use brown liner and connect with the black. Okay, I don't have brown liner, but I'm just going to use some brown thing to see how it looks like. Yeah, eyeshadow ke anything. Oh, eyeshadow, yeah. You entertain them first, I pergi ambil eyeshadow. <laughs> okay. This so Korean look, Jen. Hi guys, so hari ni kita akan belajar eyeliner. My name is Dewa anyway, by the way. Uh, so any questions at the moment? Kus rasa sekarang. <laughs> Thank you. Eh, tu compliment ke apa? So you guys have any question? Feel free to ask. Hi Felicia. I'm back. Oh. Okay. Okay. Cepat. Okay. Brown color. How about hooded eyes? Hooded eyes pun sama juga. You can use this technique for hooded eyes. Okay. Brown color and I draw. Yeah. 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 Betul tak? Betul. Yes, exactly. You are good student. Oh you have no idea. I for the longest time I only just see YouTube videos. No one taught me how to draw eyeliner before. So my whole life I've been walking around <laughs> drawing like this. And now I know I can do this style. Do you know how happy I am? Wait, someone said muka garang macam tak sesuai. <laughs> muka garang macam tak sesuai dengan eyeliner. Garang me, I wear garang me. <laughs> and they sweet, you know? Okay, see? <laughs> what else? Any perfect eyeliner or pencil to intro? Yeah, why don't you introduce some of your fair products? Alamak, I don't have a lot here. Tapi, I suka anything yang core. If you're looking for eyeliner, go, kalau you pergi Watson ke apa, cari yang Korean product. Because Korean are really good with mascara and also eyeliner. Because they love it so much. So, I think Korean product dekat drugstore is very good. They're very black. Jet black and they are sang apa kan? Yeah. Wow. So even like uh, other products, like even for eyeshadow. Oh yeah, that's another question I want to ask you about drugstore versus high end product. Because mm. uh, if those of you who follow his site, they were you know he has really really high end products that are really really good. Like for example, his favorite eyeliner is Tom Ford, honey. <laughs> so my question is, mm -hmm. can you like? What's the, in your experience, what's the difference between uh, high-end products and also drugstore? Uh, high-end and drugstore? Mm. Um, it depends. Some of them macam tak banyak beza sangat. If you're looking for mascara, sebenarnya tak banyak beza sangat lah high-end or uh, drugstore. Almost the same. Dodo pun buat benda yang sama je bagi mata nampak galak and those things. But something, uh, some some products macam foundations or moisturizer or benda-benda yang very basic yang tu ada banyak beza sebab bila high end product ni dia ada banyak rate banyak shades and dia orang punya i would say me as a makeup artist i want something yang legit yang betul-betul dia orang buat research ada proof and everything lah. I'm not saying that yang drugstore tak bagus tapi high-end product I believe in that sense lah. Dia orang ada banyak research and all. So it does help skin uh, it's a skincare and juga skincare benefit lah dalam dia punya uh, makeup tu. That's what I feel lah. Have you, you don't have to mention brand but I've got mm -hmm. a question like do you think some high-end products is like memang just just for money. It's not actually good. Have you experienced high-end products yang sucks? Ada. Banyak actually. Terutamanya I don't know. It's okay macam ni. I tak tahu. Okay sebab bagi I setiap orang dia punya preference berbeza-beza. Macam I, I suka eyeshadow yang very pigmented pakai sikit pun dah okay. But maybe sesengah high-end brand I try eyeshadow dia, dia tak pigmented langsung. But maybe orang high-end suka macam tu. Dia orang suka for eyeshadow yang tak nampak sangat, not to pigment. You see, it's a, some, makeup is very subjective. Yeah. And your experience for, um, in terms of a woman's face, kan, because mm -hmm. you do a lot of bridal, kan, mm -hmm. the one thing that we need to focus on, do you think you, you, you focus more on the eyes or is your style focus more of the lips, the cheeks, the contour, the eyebrows? What is your focus and my why? Focus. My focus is skin. If your skin is really good, you can put like minimum makeup on your eyes. Natural lip color pun akan nampak you dah cantik dah. 
But if your skin color punya foundation salah and nampak too oily or too matte then everything gonna look wrong. Very powdery so macam tu akan yeah. So yeah. now the trend for you know bridal what is the the trend you see cuz you you do normally very beautiful glowy looks kan. Mm-hmm. Uh, my question is what about like the trend right now is that the look people like to look that look very dewy and glowy for a wedding yeah sekarang ni memang orang suka dewy very natural punya look tak nak heavy sangat but ada mm-hmm. juga orang yang suka okay dia dekat malaysia ni ada dua jenis manusia okay. satu manusia yeah, sure. they want to look like themselves on the wedding day satu lagi manusia i don't want to look like myself i want to be another person on my wedding day <laughs> so kalau you nak jadi another so you do do pun buat ha tak, you do do pun buat i tak buat <laughs> i buat if <laughs> kalau you nak jadi orang lain ah uh, you, you jangan cari i i tak pandai you have to cari make up artist yang buat sfx ke apa ke lah i i, mm. I can i just I, i'll enhance your beauty je i tak change your look lah That's not my forte. I love it. What about like uh, contouring? I know today we're supposed to talk about eyeliner, but I think I've already perfected it. Okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so very quickly, because we still have a bit more time. If you don't mind, can you share with us a little bit about contouring? Okay, uh, contouring. Of course, kalau you nak master about contouring, you have to know your face structure, dulu lah, your face bone and everything. Because not everybody sesuai yang harsh contour. Macam you Jen, your face is very round. So you tak boleh buat harsh contour. Kotak nanti dia akan nampak macam sangat uh, ada benda hitam kat pipi you. Oh, so you need okay. macam, you need a rounder contour. Maksudnya semua benda, your whole face have to contour very lightly. So that nampak so macam So from here to here. Mm-mm, masuk sini sampai sini sampai sini Okay Macam tu So kalau sebab macam kan, Sorry hmm. On YouTube kan If you see YouTube tutorials Semua orang dia orang put like contour Up to here to here So hmm. my whole life I ingat buat contour here to here Here to here Always the same thing And this area is so here to here I just contour everything Contour until my face become you know very small So <laughs> uh, that's what I learned online But I think your tip is right. Kalau like you need to understand your face. So like right. for your face, clearly both of us tak sama kan. But for mm-hmm. like people with the same shape as your face, uh, what would the contour technique be? Okay, macam you tengok, my face dia ada dah natural natural contour. So I punya cheekbone oh. tak cheekbone a bit high lah. So I just follow this line over here. I have a brush here. Like mana I ada tak contour powder kerja I cari. Okay, no worry. Yes, guys, we are super lucky because literally we have a few more minutes. Uh, we're gonna get as much as we can from Said Dewa, the Dewa himself, my friends. He's teaching us a little bit about contour. And if you guys are interested, let us know more questions down there and see if uh, we get to get um, Said Dewa to, under, uh, to explain to us, okay? So in the meantime, I'm seeing some of your messages. Recommend some good foundation. Woo! Okay, Sunday Sims. I see you, honey. We'll ask him that for sure. What brand of brush is good for eyeshadow? Oh, okay. I will ask him right after this. All right. Yep, you're saying. Okay. Uh, I broke my palette anyway. But... <laughs> so you broke palette. Your heart will break also or not? Uh, this one tak perlu dalam lah. I ada yang baru. <laughs> Okay. So like my, uh, I punya pipi I akan letak contour dekat bahagian This is my cheekbone Okay mm. yeah. So contour have to be under your cheekbone Okay 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 maksudnya dekat cheekbone ni and Cheekbone and below ha, macam tu The cheekbone and below Jangan bawah sangat Dia kena dekat cheekbone juga Tapi and below So, macam ni. So you gonna look like. Wait, I go get, I go get my 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 color. So you entertain them, okay? Okay. Best eye pencil for water eye line. I suggest kalau eye pencil, I suka Silky Girl. Silky Girl punya eye pencil cantik. He shared very great tips. Thank you. Yes, unexpected collab. I love both of them. Thank you. 
if you have hidung mancung then what about contour? If you have hidung mancung you don't need contour, trust me. Leave it like it is. I'm back. It's great. Okay, yes, continue please. Thank you so much again. I, I hope you don't mind. I know again we're just talking about eyeliner but It's okay. I love you. We're learning so much from you. So tulang pipi, tulang pipi. So tulang pipi, <laughs> tulang kat sini and letak bawah tulang. And kena tulang sikit tak apa. Okay. Oh, and what about color? How to pick the color? For contour, keep it um grey. Dia macam grey, not too warm. Mm. Is it too much? Is it okay? I think it's okay. Okay. So for my face, just at the side here sikit je. Sikit not all the way here. Jangan. Okay. And you kena contour kat sini juga. Kat and sini? Oh, okay. Yeah, kat sini juga. Sebab ramai orang confuse contour and bronzing. Sebab those are hmm. different thing. Contour lain. Contour you nak bentukkan muka you. Bronzing you nak add some colour on your face. Bagi nampak dia more warm macam tu. Okay. So, uh, for people kalau dia orang nak contour, semua orang ke kena contour kat sini ke? Tak. Or just tu, people like rambut, my thing? Kalau rambut you kat sini, you janganlah contour nanti dah hilang dah dye you. <laughs> so, if you <laughs> if you punya rambut kat atas, then okay, you can contour lah. Okay. okay. Sebab my, normally, my fringe is like this. Uh, I'm not like yeah, I don't really need to contour too much. Uh, but maybe up here. Sikit. Sikit lah. Mm. Someone asked earlier, um, what about brands for brushes? Um, is there a specific brush that you, um, that you normally go for? Any brands? Or what? Because my brand is from Taobao. You know Taobao? I know Taobao. <laughs> Alibaba punya cousin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Betul. Ah, uh, brush for me kalau you nak cari uh, drugstore punya brush jangan pakai lah sebab banyak yang tak boleh pakai. <laughs> Wait, uh, what is a good brush first? What is a good brush? Kalau yeah. you pakai, dia tak terkeluar. Oh, okay. 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 I, I I ingat kena soft. Oh, not really. Depends. Depends on the on the purpose. You pakai brush untuk apa. Okay. Kalau you nak blusher brush, dia kena soft sikit lah. Tapi kalau you nak foundation brush, tak boleh too soft lah. Nanti tak boleh nak blend, mm. things like that lah. Tapi kalau nak cakap brush yang senang nak cari, I think Fenty Beauty have a good brush. Fancy And Zoeva. Zoeva, uh, can find from Sephora kan? Sephora, ya yeah, betul. What about beauty blender? Do you use beauty blender just for foundation or like for other things like bronzer pun boleh? Or just beauty blender is just for foundation? Beauty blender, I prefer just for foundation lah. Kalau benda, foundation or anything yang creamy. If benda tu powdery, I tak suggest pakai beauty blender lah. Hmm. Okay, one final question uh, before I let you go. I don't want to let you go, but one final question I promise, okay? Um, so earlier we touched a little bit on uh, foundation. Mm -hmm. So, can you mention for a foundation, you really care about it being high quality, they've done their research, and it's worth the money. Because some high-end brands, it, it might not be as good. Just because it's more expensive doesn't mean that it's good. So, if mm -hmm. someone wants to invest, kan, they want to invest on foundation that is expensive, but, you know, it's it, it you don't need to use too much, what would be the brand that you recommend, you personally recommend? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, <laughs> I baru je buat topik pasal foundation ni actually. Oh. Okay, benda yang pertama sekali yang you nak cari foundation is you kena tahu you punya skin sensitive to what ingredient. That's the most important thing lah. So, kalau you beli benda yang high-end pun tapi kalau you jumpa dalam tu ada alcohol ke ataupun ada uh, fragrance ke which your punya skin tak boleh nak re tak boleh terima dan no point juga. So first thing first, you kena tahulah ingredient dalam barang tu apa. Okay, yang kedua you kena tahu 
what skin type are you? Are you oily skin or you ada kulit kering ke combination ke apa? Sebab different foundation ada different purpose. Kalau yang untuk oily skin, kita kena yang matte effect. Kalau yang kulit kering, you go for dewy effects. Okay? So tu benda kedua lah. Yang pertama sekali, kena tahu apa yang you allergic. Yang kedua, kena tahu your, your skin type. And yang ketiga, you kena tahu um, yang ketiga, then only you tahu um, what finishing you like. Maksudnya you suka light coverage ke? You suka heavy coverage, uh, full coverage. If you have a skin problem, you might go for something yang heavier lah. Kalau you skin macam jen, macam kulit telur ni, kau pakai bedak pun dah cukup dah. Kulit telur? Kulit telur. Okay. okay. Got it, got it. So bila tiga-tiga ni dah faham, you dah tahu apa yang you nak then only you cari foundation colour yang paling sesuai dengan you. Uh, yang keempat perlu cari colour but then on, but then colour pun you kena tahu juga setengah foundation after a, uh, after an hour dia akan tukar Oxidant. everything. So dia tak, mm. tak dapat your colour juga kan. So kalau nak cakap brand yang I recommend I I think um, I suka Nars, yes. I suka Bobby Brown. And What about um, like La Mer or Mac? What uh, about those brands? Mac I tak pakai sangat. Hmm. Uh, La Mer I suka. If you have very good skin, you tak perlu banyak untuk cover. Dia sangat cantik. Dia very dewy, skin finish, spa like macam tu lah. And Tom Ford punya foundation pun very good. Yang baru. Uh, what about Jojo Armani? I heard a lot of people say it's very good. Jojo Armani... I tak pernah try Jojo Armani. I don't know. Mm. Mm -mm. Um, my personal brands that I love that's high-end that I think is worth the money. I really love YSL. I think YSL, they do very good products. As what they were mentioned, um, NARS. NARS is so good. Even their... Apa tu, the BB cream pun... It's so, so good quality. Um, what other brands do I use? I really like um, MAC. I personally like MAC, but sometimes it's a bit too pigmented. So for an everyday look, I would just use a little... Oh, Fenty Beauty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, Fenty bagus. It's I so good. I suka juga. Our Glass Stick Foundation. Okay. Our Glass... Um, Is it just one type? Actually, I want to I want to try Hourglass. What? Which which range is it? I suka stick foundation. Stick foundation. Ooh, stick foundation and like liquid foundation. The application pun different kan? Different. Oh my gosh, so many things to learn. But you know what? Uh, I feel like we've learned so much today. Uh, we've learned about the eyeliner. I'm gonna save this live. So those of you, if you are fans of the site, they were, you want to learn. Uh, if you are from my channel, you want to learn. I'll leave it there for you guys to check it out. I personally learned a lot. I learned how to do the eyeliner to elongate my eyes, not look like this crazy human being. Whoa, <laughs> this one is going to be superstar, but tak, tak jadi, okay? We also learn uh, how to contour a little bit for different face shapes. And the next time, if ever, sorry, I think you need to do another episode about how to do foundation, um, how to apply liquid foundation, cream foundation, stick foundation. I think a lot of people will be very interested. So I'm looking forward to your next live stream. Thank you well, so much, Sai. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye. All right. Bye.